Journey with us into the heart of feudal Japan to uncover the story of Tokugawa Ieyasu, a figure whose cunning, patience, and vision shaped the course of Japanese history. His life was a chess game played on the grand stage of the Sengoku period, ultimately culminating in the establishment of the Edo period, a time of unprecedented peace and cultural prosperity. Born in a tumultuous era marked by constant warfare, Ieyasu's early life was filled with strife and political maneuvering. As a child, he was a hostage in the custody of rival clans, a common practice at the time to ensure loyalty. These experiences, however, did not harden him. Instead, they honed his diplomatic and strategic skills. Rising through the ranks, Ieyasu became a key player in the power struggles of the time. His relationship with Oda Nobunaga and Toyotomi Hideyoshi, two of Japan's great unifiers, played a significant role in his ascent. However, Ieyasu's path to power was one of patience and strategic retreat, often biding his time and avoiding unnecessary conflicts. His most significant triumph came at the Battle of Sekigahara in 1600, a decisive conflict that paved the way for Ieyasu to establish the Tokugawa shogunate. This victory was not just a military feat, but a masterful display of strategy, alliance building, and timing. As shogun, Ieyasu's policies laid the foundation for a period of peace, stability, and isolation that would last for over two centuries. He closed Japan off from much of the outside world, a controversial decision that had profound effects on Japanese society and culture. Under his rule, the arts flourished, the samurai class rose to new heights, and a strict social order was established. Yet Ieyasu's legacy is complex. While he brought peace and stability, his policies also led to rigid social structures and a cultural isolation that would both preserve and constrain Japan. How do Ieyasu's decisions and policies reflect the challenges of leadership and governance? What can we learn from his approach to conflict and diplomacy? Share your thoughts on the legacy of Tokugawa Ieyasu in the comments below. If you're intrigued by the intricate tapestry of Japan's history and its influential figures, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more explorations into the past.